Hi there. In prep of our meeting today, I just wanted to go over the assignments that are still missing from last week and then those assignments that we're prepping for for this week. So I've already logged into Blackboard. I've advanced to our workshop course design and assessment. And let's take a look at some of the assignments um, that are missing from last week. At the left, I'm going to click the assignments link and then I'm going to go straight to unit one. Um, so one of the things that I need you to submit yet is the um, outline of instruction. So just as, and you'll submit that here to this link, but just to remind you how to get it, um, I have open in a different tab here. Actually, I'm going to back up just a second. I've already advanced to it, but I'm going to back up. I'm just going to go to outline.madisoncollege.edu. That takes me to this window. And then you can put in your catalog number. So I'm going to enter your catalog number, press enter or click search. And then there is your course. So I'm going to click on that. And there's the outline of instruction. And so for the submission, you can either give me this web address. You can save this PDF file, save it as a PDF file, submit that to Blackboard somehow to let me know that you have a copy of the outline. And the reason I want you to have this is because we'll refer to it in later assignments. Okay, so back to Blackboard. That's one thing that needs to be submitted just yet. Actually, I'm going to take a look at my grade sheet. The next thing is, oh yeah, learn Unit 2. So at the left again, I'm going to click Assignments, and this time I'm going to go to Unit 2, and I need you to submit um, the reflection. So from Unit 2, I'm going to scroll down until I see, oh, I can't get down quite far enough, but here where it says, Unit 2 Exit Learning Outcomes. This will take you to the discussion board. And so in Unit 2, we have learned about exit learning outcomes, and there's three kinds. There's um, external standards, which you don't have. External standards is like the nursing students have to pass a national exam, or um, I teach medical administrative specialists. They pass a state, um, or they gain a state certification. You don't have an external um, standard, so you could just tell us that and tell the class why. I need to know that you know that. Um, the second type of, exter of exit learning outcome is a program outcome. And again, you don't have program outcomes because you're teaching students for a lot of different programs. I have program outcomes because I'm teaching classes that go to one program, or you could think of it as one degree. So I have them for my courses. You don't have any. So again, just tell in the discussion board, tell us that you don't have them and tell us why. And then the third thing is the core workforce skills. So for that one, I want you to log into WIDS. Um, I've already added your catalog number in the search box, and I'm going to click on your course, Economics. Actually, for all three of the exit learning outcomes, you've learned in Unit 2 how to do this. At the left, I'm going to go to Course Competencies, and then I'm going to click to see if you have any. Do you see here it's got your external standards? None. <laughs> you can look and see. Click Program Outcomes. No, no records. And then I'm going to click Core Workforce Skills, because I just can't remember if your course has them or not. Okay, so you have none currently. Now, this is a little bit trickier because there may be none in WIDS, but your program director may have already identified some um, uh, core workforce skills. So for, for this activity, it's just you're just telling me what you know about the class. You can say WIDS displays none. That, that's an answer, right? Um, but then, yeah, so that's it. That's all I want you to do for that one. Okay, back to Blackboard. Um, next up, you need to submit. Um, oh, you need to submit the Exit Learning Outcomes activity. So there's two things here. There, do you see here I'm still in Unit 2? So submit the individual reflection. That's the worksheet that you'll submit telling me about your Exit Learning Outcomes. And then here, this is the discussion board post where you'll tell the class. Because when you submit something, it only goes to me. On the discussion board is where you'll tell the class about, about your Exit Learning Outcomes. Because every one of us is different. You've probably already seen... Like we have EMT teachers and they have all three or we have, we just have the whole mixed bag. So we're just sharing with each other our different experiences. Okay, so submit both of those things. Um, and then the good, and now we're ready for unit three. Okay, that, that's our next unit. So back here in Blackboard at the left, I'm going to click assignments. In the middle, I'm going to scroll down and click unit three. And for every single unit, you need to look here to see if there's anything to submit. And you need to look under learning activities. 
Of course, before you submit anything, I'm assuming you've completed all of the unit stuff and you've learned about the topic of the unit. So unit three is about competencies. I'm gonna click unit three learning activities. I have a video for you to watch. We have the verb list. We have, um, yeah, here's the video. Here's notes to the presentation. Here's the verb list, Bloom's, um, Bloom's taxonomy list of verbs that we want to use in competencies. And then here, this is a quiz called the good, the bad, and the ugly. So click this link to walk through this learning activity. Complete this, watch and read all of this stuff, and then go back to unit three. Sorry, I'm gonna hit my back button. Go back to unit three, and then submit this activity. Okay, that's all of last week. From this week forward then, we're gonna be working on units four, five, and six. And if you could get caught up by Friday, that would be great. When we meet today, I'll also review all of this information for you. Um, and any questions that you have, let's walk through this stuff together. That's why I'm here, so that we can get you caught up and we'll be done next week already. So feel free to email me, by the way, at any time.